Hey YouTube, Beams here. Shit man, what has it been now? Like 14 months? <coughs> Finally, we got patch notes for the next big update in The Division 2. And massive plans on changing specific skills and gear, introducing new gear, exotics, a new game mode, and the new expertise system. Like damn, a lot is coming. Although I know a lot of the community are a bit disappointed by this news, not getting what they expected. I mean, I don't blame you, but look, I'm just happy to have something new in this game. At least Ubisoft aren't just bidding the game like a lot of its others. But with all this new stuff coming, you're gonna have to prepare yourself. You ain't raw dog in this shit. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Alrighty, a no-brainer. Materials. With the variety of changes, materials will be your best friend. Specifically optimization resources and the regular ones like titanium or carbon fiber to name a few. Stacking up on these materials will give you a huge advantage over those who didn't. Now, obviously, you will be able to recalibrate and optimize previous or new gear, but it give you an edge over those when grinding through the expertise system, and by how the expertise system will work, it will seriously buff your gear and can make a difference in winning or losing PvP or PvE fights, so you really want to get it done as soon as possible. Now, to gather these materials, I got you. If you need normal materials like electronics or polycarbonates, I have a video for that, link in the description and in the iCard. And this video will be extremely useful in efficiently getting those critical materials. While for the optimization resources, again, I have a video for that. Link in the description and in the iCard. Or you can just utilize global event points during global events to buy optimization caches, which also help a lot. This grinding will help you, but you're going to need a lot of materials. That's where the second tip comes in. Multiple agents. Now I have touched lightly about having multiple agents in a couple of my previous videos, but I can't stress enough how useful they are. Yes, of course, it'll take you a little while to finish the New York campaign, but the order of doing so is so good. Not only allowing you to use multiple shade watches, basically giving you 200 scavenging points per agent if you have a shade level of a thousand, but you also get four times the agent inventory space because you know, four different agents. To get the most out of the SHD watch though, you're going to have to grind your shade level. But guess what? I have a video for that too. Link in the description and in the iCard. And this video will show you exactly how to quickly increase your shade level. Like I'm pretty sure you'll level up 25 to like 40 levels or something in an hour. So it's really effective and the best way I still know to level up your shade level. Now, still being on the topic of multiple agents, so to say, you're probably gonna have to clear out the clutter out of your agent and stash. Like, I definitely need to clear out my stash, and I know it's a tedious process of just moving loot in and out or destroying non-useful items, but by doing this, you'll make a lot of room for the multitude of your characters, so when it comes to grinding, the new update, you have plenty of space to get not only gathered loot, but you'll be able to keep all your important loot in your stash and less important loot on any of those other agents that you previously made. Alright, last but not least, and I know it's gonna sound corny, but you guys really shouldn't have any high expectations for the new content. I know, I know, it's not as grandiose as the complete game rehaul we saw in the Warlords of New York update, but new loot, meta changes, new systems, they are still to come, and we haven't seen any of that for 14 months now. And preparing for it is good, you'll get the most out of the update, and as well, it's free, so long you have the Warlords of New York DLC, but I mean, who doesn't already have that? <sighs> it's been a while since I've made a video this long, and I enjoyed every second of it, just like I hope you enjoyed every second of this video. And if you did, consider subscribing, I mean, it's free, and don't forget to slap that like button, do it. Anyways, enough waffling from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to B.